hi everyone welcome to my channel so today for my inaugural video i was going to see a movie with my mom the new downton abbey movie and uh we realized that there's a bath and body works in the same shopping center and there's a sale going on ten dollars off 30 three wick handles for ten dollars off from the normal 24.50 and my mom's aromatherapy body creams were three for the price of one. So we did that. Uh, so today I got three new three wick candles for $30. Very excited to share them with you. So we're getting into fall. It was beautiful weather for the past two or three days here and it's getting hot again, but it got me in the mood. So I'm hoping that this first one that I have to share is one of the fall ones that I got, and it is. <clears throat> so, it is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin in the White Barn line. Let me show it to you here. Hope you can read that. Not a big fan of the, you know, decorative uh, exteriors, but I'll live with it. It's fall, you know, I'll go for a theme then. So right off the bat, you get a super strong cinnamon scent coming through. And one thing that my mom and I loved most about this is that a lot of the fall candles out there are super sweet when they do the cinnamon thing to try and like offset it. And this one, I mean, it's called Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, but it actually is less sweet than a lot of the candles you would see that usually are in the fall type line. Um, Mostly what you're getting is cinnamon, but it's it's tame. It's like when you just breathe in from, you know, the shaker of cinnamon making your cinnamon sugar toast in the morning. And obviously it's got a little bit of pumpkin in there, but the pumpkin really isn't that strong and I'm okay with that. I like pumpkin spice drinks, you know, but I don't like when those are really, really pumpkin spicy. The pumpkin cream cold brew at Starbucks this year is so good to me, particularly because the pumpkin isn't that strong. So I'm really, really excited to burn this one. And it's three wick, as I've pointed out. I got another fall one, uh, and I'm hoping by luck of the draw, that's the next one I pull out. And then the last one that I got is uh, a Christmas one. Never hurts to be prepared. Let's see who this is. Oh, and it's the other fall one. God does love me. So I actually wasn't planning on buying this. I had the sweet cinnamon pumpkin and the other one, uh, and my mom and I were walking to the checkout line, and I walked past this one and I saw it, and I literally stopped in my tracks. The employee who was walking behind us literally almost walked into me, but I was like, I have to smell that. <clears throat> It's called Honey Crisp Apple. It's uh, one of the traditional, more simple, uh, you know, jar designs, and I'm a big fan of that. And it smells exactly like a Honey Crisp Apple. I mean, like, if you took a bite out of a Honey Crisp and then took a whiff, oh, honey, they captured it. It's got the sweet and just the tiny bit of sour. I think, I mean, it's, a little bit like a Granny Smith more, because it's got a bit of that, I don't know, I feel like they should have made the jar green and called it Granny Smith, honestly. But it's so much like an apple, like it's crazy. I don't know exactly when I'll burn this. I feel like it would be good, you know, after, ooh, it's with essential oils. I feel like it would be good, because it's a very clean, light scent. I feel like it would be good after a shower or something, you know? We'll see. Wish I could set these somewhere where you could see them, but you've seen them. So the last one is that Christmas candle that I mentioned. Uh, I'm a big fan of evergreen scents, but a lot of the time they're too overpowering. Honestly, like with the, with the cinnamon and with the sweetness, I, I love scented candles, but when they do what when they take what they want to do and take it so far, it's like, oof, like I can only burn it for, you know, 10 minutes and then the room is just filled with it and it's like, I'm gonna choke. But when it's just a little bit muted, you get so much lo more longevity out of it. So this is another designed jar. Uh, it's a little, you know, 
70s wallpaper in your grandma's bathroom, but it's all right. It's called Fresh Balsam. It's an evergreen scent. And God, I mean, if you've ever gone to, you know, the parking lot Christmas tree market and gotten your own Christmas tree or actually gone out to the farm and had them cut one down, I mean, that, honey, that is the scent of a fresh cut Christmas tree stump. I feel like I can feel the leaves in between my fingers every time I take a whiff. Like, I don't think we're gonna have a real Christmas tree, you know? I think we're gonna have this tiny little, it'll be like this high on the table. And something like this is just perfect for setting the mood, you know? Mm. I kind of want like a mountain, like a fresh breeze or something to pair with this and burn them at the same time. And then just, I mean, that would be exactly sitting on a mountain porch. December 20th on a rocking chair just sipping your coffee ooh this and a coffee candle oh we might have found something out mm. so I am very pleased with today's haul especially considering that I wasn't planning on doing this today at all all three of these three wick candles today for $30 total and they're all great scents. They're all very relevant to the season that's about to come. I couldn't be more excited. So thanks for watching. Congratulations.